Having an index slide in a Google slideshow can be a great way to jump to different topics or jump to work by different students. The thing is, you'll want to have your slides created first. So I have my slides for different characters here. And on slide one, which I'm using as my index slide, I have created a table and I have listed each of the names. Each of these will be made into hyperlinks and it's really easy to link to another slide. Here's how. So I select, uh, let's say my name here, and then I do insert and choose link, or I can do the keyboard shortcut command or control K. And instead of pasting a link in here, I will choose slides in this presentation. And uh, I can tell from my slide sorter on the right, it's slide two. Slide two is labeled Tony Vincent in this list because I have given that slide the title of Tony Vincent. When I click apply, now it is hyperlinked. When I click this, I can go straight to that page. So let's see that process again. Highlight. I'm going to do Control or Command K for the keyboard shortcut. Slides in this presentation. And now Luke's slide is slide three. Click Apply. And now that's hyperlinked. One more time. Leia's slide. Command or Control K. She's slide four. So again, the key here is to have your slides created before you link them. The other piece that could be important is if you jump to, let's say, Leia's slide, there, there's not really a good way to get back. You do something like add an arrow, and you could just say back, or you could say index, however you want to label this button. and of course, you can give it fill colors and things to make it match your style. But uh, this object here, I can do Command or Control K with it selected. And I want it to go to the very first slide, which is my index slide. Click Apply. And now there's this back button. What I can do is just click the click to select the button there, and I'm going to Command or Control C to copy, and I can just paste that same back button on each of my slides. And it's hyperlinked. It'll go to the first slide each time that it's clicked. There are lots of great uses for index slides, and now you know how to make them.